If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the... Uh new showdown cards to check out these ones i probably feel like are actually worth checking out generally speaking because they actually offer some pretty good links and they're might they might be interesting for people so um yeah we'll have to try out some new tactic because what we usually do every single day while we review these uh these main cards but the first card is gonna be uh trossard right so trossard's card is five foot seven high medium uh four star five star explosive right footed play styles a lot of dribbling stuff, so he has rapid plus, so running with the balls fast. Trivella plus as well with the five star weak foot's pretty cool. Um, flare, first touch. Excuse me, long ball pass, whipped pass, and then power shot. Okay, so in game attributes. Uh, it's a card you want the upgrades for sure. You definitely want the upgrades. Um, the the main reason is just the base dribbling stats so that you can generally just provide him with like a hawk or a hunter in the future that's the main thing because with the dribbling stats formatted the way that it is right now it makes you want to improve that right but if he gets those base improvements in the future if they can end up winning then obviously it would be really nice for the card that's what they do with the showdowns, man. They do, they do be doing that. They do be doing that. Um, passing on the card's going to be in a good area. Defending, he has 82 heading accuracy, 92 jumping. 90. He can actually head the ball maybe sometimes as well. Yeah. Because you know what it is with cards like this, man? It like Generally speaking, right? It kind of makes you want to give a marksman to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, but, you know, I wish pace wasn't as relevant as it was, right? But I can never search the uh, camp styles right away when the cards are brand new. I even checked, like, Fuiz, and it's not not here just yet. Oh, there it is. Finally, let's go. Okay, so, yeah, Marksman to boost the dribbling, shooting, and the physicality. Base card stats for pace would be higher. Could you technically use them as a cam? You could. But the pace would be lower if you went in this direction right but i think generally speaking it's a card that obviously you kind of hope gets the upgrade and then you can just provide him with like i would say either like a hawk or a hunter for the most part right because then what else would you really give him because the the pace needs to be increased right i think it's like a is it a plus two for these guys a plus two would be a little bit better to work with too but yeah, we can still see what the base mechanics will be as much as possible for these cards as well. Uh, Rapid Tree, Velo, all these play styles again. Yeah. All right, cool. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get the card. And I'll show you guys how we line them up. Oh. No, and I red timed it. And it goes over my player. <laughs> no registration for the Coquette, eh? Nice. Yeah, I figured it was going to get blocked there. to score the garbage in this game, unfortunately. Oh, the five-star weak foot's not enough there with the perfect shooting. Oh, nothing unlucky. Oh, 
There it is. I'll take that. It's a deserved, it's a deserved goal, I think. Worked out. There we go, good stuff. There it is, good stuff guys. Alright, that's good stuff. There it is. <clears throat> Let's go, Troll Sarge. Oh, he still can save that, eh? Thank you. Well done, Trossard. Oh, I try to like cancel it once I realized I didn't have like the right angle there. No registration with the Croquetta. Nice. Let's go, Trossard. Oh, there's no way, man. Ooh. Let's try though. Oh. We'll take that. We'll take that. No toxic rat. I think it was blocked there. Yeah. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. Oh, you're lucky, my dude. Ah, he's going to save it anyways, I think. I tried it out. Gotta get those greens on it at least. Oh, if I didn't score that, so the defensive AI just saving people like that, that would have been, that would have been mad annoying. Goodness, man. Warner is so good. Warner is so good, man. Thank 
Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, you need players that are just absolute top tier nowadays. It's insane. Laser. Not faster than Davies there, that's for sure. Oh. There it is. <sighs> there it is, there it is. Should have just gone across there, man. I don't think that was going to be good either. Oh, no green on that. Okay, guys, so I'm not entirely too sure if I'm going to be doing more of the showdown reviews because they have an added variable to these cards. Like, they know that the plus version of these cards is a lot of the times not good enough for, like, the top tier meta for most of these cards. Like, there are some that are still pretty decent to use. Like, Clark was actually pretty decent. Um, I think Juan Felix needed the evolution to be really nice. I think he was a needed one. Um, I think that... Like, there's the obvious ones, like a kanji. I still think a kanji is a top choice, right? But because they added the new evolution, there is that uh, added variable of being able to get the double, or I think it's I think it's a plus two, and it's the evolution boost as well, which drops the special sauce on the cards, right? Like, you guys know how it works when, he's, when, it, when it comes down to uh, these types of players, right? So with Troll Sarge, now that that is a variable that we could take into consideration, right? Marksman could still be an ideal situation for him, maybe. Um, because if they can improve the base card stats for pace to be in a pretty decent area and you decide to use him as a cam, it actually wouldn't be a bad decision, right? However, for meta of this game, I think generally speaking, it's probably going to be a Hawk chemistry style flex to boost the pace, shooting, and physicality so that the base card stats for dribbling is actually higher, right? That's what you would be working with with the plus version of the card and then the improvements on top of that, right? Um, In-game, Trollstar just feels like a competent attacker, right? Obviously, because he has the five-star weak, but there are certain situations where, you know, it could obviously be a very, very helpful thing to work with. But again, it's very tough to judge these cards before they get the massive improvements like the only way for me to do the showdown reviews because i was going to do delit too the only way for me to do the showdown reviews is if it's like really big cards like with Ron felix and akanji those were two really big cards that are worth reviewing right um but without the improvements it's really hard to say like what card is what right but you know, generally speaking, does this card have the potential to be a very competent meta attacker in this game if you want to you know build him up for your arsenal team yeah he's actually gonna be able to do pretty solid right he scored a couple of goals for me um for the most part got himself into really good situations to, to score those opportunities right working with rapid plus is I, I care more about quick step plus over rapid plus personally but rapid plus is obviously still going to be a very helpful thing to work with in a few situations as well right but again tough to say exactly what the card's going to be like because with the win which is the plus version, and then it's the evolution that drops the real special sauce on the card. It's tough to say exactly what he's going to feel like. But as of right now, he does feel pretty solid, right? So if he gets the win and you get the evolution on top of that, it'll still be a very good attacker to use in the game, in my opinion. Because to be fair, they gave him some really good play styles, right? Trivella Plus is really nice for the five-star weak foot as well. He has a technical long ball pass, you know, like it's helpful play styles to work with if you decide to use them in the side areas too because in the future with higher pace you can use them as like a left attacking mid right attacking mid left mid right mid because he even has a stamina as well right so if you're using this sort of card in the side areas and that trivella is improved with the base card stats improving as well that's going to be a really huge thing to work with in my opinion right so 
Uh, be very mindful of that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Again, I don't know how many showdown cards I'm going to review because it's kind of shaky right now in my opinion. So peace out my dudes. Love you guys.